Hi guys, today I'm going to show how to set up the Logitech G923 racing wheel and pedals together with shifter on a gaming PC. So details for the gaming PC are in the description below and I'll also have a link for the review I did of that and we're going to set it up on our racing frame over here. So this is the Next Level Racing FGT Lite. So this is a foldable frame so if you're limited on space, ideal to have. Now we're going to be playing on our LG OLED TV. So let's start off by setting up the wheel, pedals and shifter on our racing frame. Let's begin with attaching the pedals. So just to mention, you can put it on a flat surface, so it's a wooden floor, it can work fine on that. Obviously there's rubber pads underneath to avoid it slipping. And if you had carpet, obviously you've got the gripper underneath to avoid that moving as well. But we're going to attach it on the frame and use the bolting positions just underneath this. Okay, so I've attached the pedals now, I've bolted them on. I've only had to do two on the top and two on the bottom. That's more than enough to keep this in place. And I just need to tighten it up next. And there you go, the pedals are now secure. Next, let's attach the shifter. So with this, obviously you can clamp it on. So if you had a table or worktop, you could just place it into position and then tighten the clamps and it's fine with that. But with this frame, obviously you've got some bolting points. We'll bolt this on so it doesn't move around that easily. So there you go, shifter is securely in position. Next, let's get the wheel attached to the frame. So we can clamp that on, or we could use the two screw positions at the bottom to attach it via that, but clamping should be fine. Now, in terms of wiring this up, obviously you've got the cable management. The cable here is the USB cable, so we'll wrap that around once, go through the cable management. Next, we've got the shifter connector, and that's just over here. Looks like a serial type connector. And if I place that into position, wrap that round. You can do additional wraps if you want, obviously just to keep your cables nice and tidy. We'll just go around an additional time and that's it. Just go through the cable management. Next is the connector for the pedals and that goes just over here. Similar sort of serial connection on there. So if I now plug that in and then we wrap that round once as well, get it through the cable management. And finally, we've got the power connection and that's a DC connector on there that gets plugged into here. And then we can wrap that round once as well. Same thing again through the cable management. Reason for the cable management is so you can have it nice and flush when you've got it on a surface. And then we can just loosen up the clamps over here. You can see, loosen up this side and then place that into position. Tighten it up either side push it down, just locks into position, and now that's ready. Now all three items are attached. Let me just tidy up the cables going there as it's a bit of a mess at the moment. So I'll just use some Velcro straps and attach it along the sides here, just so it doesn't get in the way when I'm gaming. There you go, cables are nice and tidy around the frame now. I'll just use these straps for cable management on there. I'll include some links in the description for those as well. So if you're after anything like that. Next thing we need to attach the power adapter. So power's plugged in there, the other end's plugged into a socket. Next we need to plug in the USB from the wheel and the USB cable itself is pretty short so it doesn't go any further than this. So I've got an extension cable going to my device and if I just plug that in now. Okay, so we've set up the wheel and I've got an extension USB cable going from the USB connector on the wheel to allow me to easily plug it into my PC. So I'm gonna plug it into the USB port now as soon as it's plugged in, what you'll notice straight away is the wheel starts calibrating. Now coming over to my PC and I now search for Logitech G Hub download in Google. First result there is the download location. If I click on that, okay to the cookies there and download for Windows. Software's downloaded, so let's run it now. That's what you're initially presented with. Let's click install. And there you go, software's installed. Welcome splash screen here. Scroll along. And now let's click Launch G-Hub. Add your profiles from Logitech Gaming Software. We'll do that later. Sharing details with Logitech. I'll decide that later as well. Okay, so now the software is installed. This is what we're presented with. So I can see all my Logitech devices. So I can see my Pro Wireless mouse here. I can see my keyboard, which is the G915 coming along. I can see my headset, the Pro X. And then finally the steering wheel, so the G923. Selecting that. 
So this is what you're initially presented with, and this is where you can do assignments of some of the keys on here. So the way this goes, you can select your option, either use the default or disable it, and then coming over here, if we pick an option, for instance, goes to keys, pick F1, for instance. So all we do is select gear up, pick F1, and now that's reassigned. Also, you can disable it coming over there. You can see it's not enabled anymore. And then clicking on there, we can go back to use default. You've got a number of options here. Obviously, you've got the basic commands. You can even get it doing a copy and paste if you wanted to. Not sure why you want to do that, but that is available. Then you've got keys I've already shown, actions, macros. So you can record a macro to do multiple options at the same time. System, so system options here. Coming down, you can see for yourself, volume up and down, for instance, DPI settings, etc. And then coming over here, you've got default and G shift. Next, if we go to the next option, which is steering wheel. So this is where you can adjust the options on the steering wheel. So first of all, you've got operating range. So now if I turn the steering wheel in the background, you can see at the moment it's set to 900. So what that means, you've got a range of 450 in either direction. Now you can reduce that range. So if you wanted a shorter turning circle, quite easy to do. You can either type it in there, for instance, I can type in 200 and now the range has been reduced. So if I turn it, it's a shorter turning circle and that's a full lock on that. So let's put it back to what it was. And then you've got sensitivity for the wheel. So you can change the sensitivity levels on there. Coming down from there, then you've got centering spring strength, and that applies for when you're using true force. So if I click that, now it's saying centering spring in non force feedback games, true force. True force utilizes the actual physics engine in supported games. So if a game supports it, it will try to make the most of the true force to give more of an enhanced experience. Next, we've got apply settings from game. So if I turn that off, you can have your talk and audio effects as you want them. Now coming over here on settings, you've got the firmware version of the device coming back from there and then clicking on here, you've got pedal sensitivity. Now you can adjust that. So if I now press the clutch, you can see the levels and you can adjust that. Same with the brake can adjust that and accelerator as well. If you wanted to combine pedals, that's possible as well. So you can combine multiple ones to work in conjunction. So there you go, as simple as that to get set up and quite a few options available via the software. Okay, so I've started up Forza Horizon 4 and now coming into control settings, just to show what you see. So over here, you can see wheel Logitech G923PS. Now, if we come out of that, just jump into the car now. Okay, so now in the car, just to show if I start accelerating, increase gear. There you go, working fine. Pedals are working as well. So good, simple as that to get up and running with this. Nothing really I've had to do other than just install the software for this. Now, if I brake for a moment, one thing to note, can you see the LEDs for the rev counter? That's not showing anything at the moment. And next thing is if I speed up and the circle icon there is the handbrake. So if I now press that, there you go. So if you didn't have a separate device, which is your handbrake, you just press the circle on this. So the next thing worth highlighting is the shifter side. So it still uses the same that you'd use with the G29 and the G920. You can see for yourself, it works perfectly. I'll shift through the gears, four, five, and if it had six, you just push it straight down. It hasn't got six on this particular one. Now, if I brake, and then if I push down and go back, And now let's, there you go, hang on, let's kick it in, there you go, reverse. So it works well. And good to see the shifter works with it as well, if you wanted that. 
It's as simple as that to get set up. Okay, so I've started up the game Grid on my PC. Now if I come into Options, just want to quickly show something. Go into Controls, and then you can see the wheel there, which is great. Now coming in there, Edit Device, come over to Vibration and Feedback, and there you go, at the bottom you can see Logitech TrueForce, Logitech TrueForce Engine, TrueForce Surface, and TrueForce Tire Slip. So this has been enhanced to make the most of the TrueForce functionality on the device. So now coming back, we'll jump into the game. And it feels even better in here, much better. Obviously it's making use of the TrueForce side of things. So games will get better. Obviously the more games that support TrueForce, it'll make the most of the wheel itself. So if you're looking to purchase a wheel, then probably worth buying the latest Logitech one for sure, instead of the older versions, and make most of the functionality available. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone looking to set up the Logitech G923 on their PC. Very simple to do, as you've seen, and hopefully future games will make the most of this functionality. Hang around for the end cards, I'll have some more racing tech videos, and drop me a like if you've liked this video, and let me know if you've managed to get it set up yourself. Thanks for viewing, and see you in the next one. And here we are for the first round, Kristen. How are you feeling about this one? Look, I All right, we'll get back to that shortly because it's time to get started.